there been any unexpected victories this week? Uh, I don't know really, I suppose um, yeah. Charlie getting through to the final maybe, a uh, bit is unexpected. That, is that the men's final? That's the men's final, yeah, yeah. so uh, I think Ch he's pretty proud of that, he's county captain, so uh, he'd say it was expected. But, so. Oh well, kudos to Charlie. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's playing? Uh, I think he's playing Jamie Marks on court one at the moment, so uh, yeah, good, uh, good battle there. So they're pairing up, uh, they paired up for the doubles. Lost men's doubles, uh, unfortunately, the other day, but um, no. yeah, playing each other in the singles at the moment. And Felix and Alex playing here. Yeah, this is the boys under 18 final. The boys under 18 final, so uh, both of them uh, have got to play in the, uh, the under 16s event as well um, afterwards, and then they're pairing up for doubles in the 16s and 18s later, so a bit of a busy day for them. They certainly have. Yeah, both very good players, both ranked in the top 20 in their age groups. So. Yeah, and our sponsors today are SEP Property Group. So yeah, we... so uh, thank you to, uh, to to everybody involved there. So uh, for making this uh, this tournament happen without your support, uh, we would be here today, and, uh, and the players would get this fantastic Okay, we're here with Charlie Crisp, who's the Harold Worcester men's county captain. And Charlie, a good week for yourself personally. Also, uh, great to see lots of up-and-coming uh, players going to be, hopefully, coming into the into the team soon. Absolutely, and we've got something going on over there, which is, which is good to see. Um, going to be slapping on my heels and, and the rest of us, so, yeah, it's been a good week. And um, what sort of age group do you think um, these youngsters will be hitting the men's county teams? Um, really, from sort of... 14, 15 plus really, I mean it depends on individuals exactly, but as soon as they're as soon as soon they're up for it, you know, we're, we're getting them involved, certainly in the practice sessions, um, I mean men's doubles is quite a different story to mostly what they're playing here, um, so we like to get them integrated on that as, as early as we can, um, but it, with the senior counter tennis, it's it's very much won and lost on your, your 15 to 19 year olds. A lot of players go away to college in the states after that, um, and then by the time you come back and you're my age, you sort of past it. <laughs> so um, it, it's really it, the, the younger generations is where it's at. Okay. So we need the depth there, and we need to encourage them all to to get those playing as much as possible. Okay. Can you tell me why you're looking forward to the county close this year? I'm looking forward to the county close because I've trained hard all year and it's going to be a good
Thanks for talking to me today. Okay, good afternoon. Ian is the president of the Hereford Worcester Lawn Tennis Association and thanks so much for coming along to the SCP group Hereford and Worcester County Close Finals today. I'm sure you can uh, always say it's been some fantastic tennis today. Um, what, what, how do you think things are going in the county at the moment? Well, I think on the tennis front they're going exceedingly well. We had a bad patch a few years ago, but now both the youngsters, the boys and the girls they're coming through and they're knocking on the door of playing in the senior county teams. Uh, we had great success this year in the men winning their promotion in County Week uh, from six to five group and I hope they'll go on to bigger things next year. We have a couple of boys playing here who will I think probably be in the team next year which will make it even stronger. And uh, with the ladies they won last year but not this year sadly but they'll be back and we've got some good young girls coming through as well. So it all goes well.